Welcome on in everyone. Let's do a little clearing of the space. And while we do this, let me make a few disclaimers here that are necessary. If you've not heard this before, all I ask is that you sit through and listen to it one time. If you've already seen it, then you can go on and fast forward into the reading, okay? Number one, I've got to say this for the YouTube moderators. This is for entertainment purposes only. And, you know, if they eventually want to take this down, then, you know, all my censored content goes to BitChute and Odyssey. If you want to know more about that, watch to the very end. I'll have information. Of course, links are down below in the description box. I also want to say, because this is for entertainment purposes only, uh, do your own research, okay? I am not your fact checker. You be your fact checker. Number two, those of you who are wondering my disposition, it's a good question that you need to ask of anybody who's given any kind of commentary. I am awake. I am not woke. I don't believe we're in Kansas anymore. If you think we still are, it's good for you. <laughs> I'm not going to stand in your way. Believe what you want, okay? But I do have to say that I will end this reading discuss some things that you might not agree with and we're all adults so you can click away if you are not comfortable with people having a difference of opinion. Also, I will use code speak here, slang. Some of you might think that's silly, but then again, so is censorship, so moving on. Y'all are free to disagree. I'm a freedom loving Aquarian. So yes, absolutely share your agreement and disagreement in the comments down below. Just understand that if you're gonna cite sources from places like CNN, you might get schooled. You might get laughed out of the comment section because <laughs> as I said before, I'm awake, not woke. And finally, number three, uh, in case you hadn't figured it out, I am not your typical tarot reader. If politics is not your thing, then please know I've got a lot of relationship coaching content here on my channel. I do relationship readings live every full moon, new moon. If you want to be notified of that, make sure that you uh, look at my stuff at the end to get more information. If you do like my political content, please know that I've got a lot more of that on uh, platforms where I won't be censored, or at least for now, I'm free to speak more openly about politics. Information will be at the end of the video, so stay tuned to the very end for that. That being said, let's get into this reading with a cleared space. All right, thanks for joining in, and we are coming into the week of May 16th, and we've got a, a lunar eclipse coming up on Monday the 16th, so a lot of shakeups going on, most definitely. And what I want to do is just pull from some decks to get a general vibe of what Spirit would like us to focus on collectively for this week in terms of the economy, politics. So random things are going to come out. We will see what comes out. And we've got uh, some tarot here. We've got some Oracle and uh, We've even got my deck. Yes, my deck. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. If you can think of anything I've left out of this deck, I've tried to be quite thorough here, as you can see. Um, but I'm sure this will evolve over time. And we'll see what else we add over time to this deck as current events change and topics, hot topics change. But let's see what's randomly coming out for the week of the 16th. Collectively, collectively. Please show me spirit. Okay, I'm feeling that one as well. <clears throat> so yeah, Taurus, banks, money matters, financial system, strong, stable energies, which is interesting because this lunar eclipse is occurring in the sign opposite of Taurus, which is Scorpio. So we're being asked to kind of, right, it is, it's all mirroring that's going on as we are looking at what needs to be released collectively in terms of Scorpio would be shared resources, Taurus would be personal resources, values, right? So all of this energy of what's having to be released is forcing us to look at finding our own feet in Taurus. We've been saying this all through this year. The North Node in Taurus, which is bringing about all these eclipses in Taurus and Cor uh, Scorpio is forcing us to find our feet. And this has to do with the banking industry, the financial system, uh, money matters. Uh, you know, inflation has been a hot topic as of late. Last week, a lot of news coming out about infiltration of governments, central banks, CBDCs, taking over altcoins, 
the crypto market. Very deep stuff. We'll see what else, if anything, comes out. There is this issue here of poverty. We've got big ag, supply chain. Well, solar eclipse, holy crap. We just had a solar eclipse in Taurus on April 30th. So there's some ping-ponging is what I'm hearing, and I never say that. Some ping-ponging going back and forth with these energies. And what else do we have? Identity politics, big tech, overlords, and the public full system. Let me sit with this for a moment because I feel like some of these things are related, like these two obviously related. I'm getting a connection here. Mm -hmm. And there. Okay. Um, intuitively, these look like they, you know, they don't go together, but intuitively I'm getting a sense that they do. We will see um, something about that solar eclipse in Taurus is very relevant. It's like, how is that saying? The chickens come home to roost. And it really means that the bad things that someone's done in the past have come back to bite or haunt somebody. So perhaps a spotlight got shown on uh, this issue with banking, the banking and financial system around the 30th of April. And now we got a lot, a lot of stuff coming out showing that they've been working in covert behind the scenes. A lot of people um, are none the wiser to it. Um, and I'm getting some kind of, even though this is poor poverty, I'm getting some sense this is about uh, financial ignorance. I am getting a uh, sense that this is about keeping people dumbed down so they're none the wiser of the fact that they're being robbed in broad daylight via uh, taxation, um, mm, inflation, I was going to say, but with this card I'm getting, they don't know how to grow and thrive in this economy. They don't understand why certain people are getting wealthy while the poor are getting poor. They don't understand. They are not connecting the dots, and it's because they are they have a low financial quotient, and it's because they're not financially fit. And identity politics is being used to distract and divide and to hinder financial growth in people. It's blocking abundance is what I'm hearing. Some of you right now may be finding that the pathway to getting out of any kind of lack or loss on a personal individual level is through uh, maybe doing some kind of family business or seasonal outdoor work, particularly in the Northern Hemisphere where I am, and it's summertime now, um, right? Like I've been doing festivals and art shows where people are getting out and about. I don't know how much longer that's gonna go on. Uh, that might be another topic for another time. But uh, for the time being, I'm getting something about outdoor jobs. Now, if you're listening in the Southern Hemisphere and it's cold, again, I don't know. Um, you know, it, th that still might be relevant for you. I think it's particularly relevant for those in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, but again, for some of you in the Southern Hemisphere, maybe at this time of year, you're getting out and doing snow plowing or you're um, something, something to that effect. I, I am also getting a message of, I'm hearing there is strength in numbers. There is strength in numbers. So um, if you can't involve yourself with family through family business to help stabilize and strengthen one another's weaknesses or instabilities, right, then you need to form some kind of network of people who are like family to you. You care about the same things. You have the same values. You have resources that you need from one another and that you can share, and that's going to help bring things up a little bit higher. Um, and then you trust one another also, okay, because this is about putting roots down, um, but in, in, in solid ground, okay? Solid ground is what I'm getting off of that. If you're not doing that this week, you're thinking on these things is what I'm sensing, or the solar eclipse from all the way back in uh, late April is really putting a light on how you need to be considering these things. You need to see this clearly. Let me see about this. I'm, I'm honestly, even though these two look like they don't go together, I'm getting some sense that the issues going on with big agriculture and supply chain, um, those headlines 
are perhaps, I don't know if they're being censored or I just heard shadow banned or something. I don't know. They're not getting the traction. They're not getting the uh, levity. Okay. So I am seeing that, yeah, there's with this anchor, there's some kind of lock or hold on or blockage going on here. Like those, those stories or those headlines are stuck in some way. I am also seeing that it, conversely, you could be hearing more uh, over this week about supply chain issues, shipments stuck out in the ocean. This is water related travel, stable for now. I'm getting a duality. I don't know why. It's like I'm seeing two sides of this. Okay, there's some duality where it's it's like you're being told some things, but you're you're not getting you're not hearing all of it. Like everything's okay now, uh, when it's not. Um, or again, it's like, well, yeah, there's a bunch of ships uh, out there stuck in the ocean waiting waiting to come to port. You know, be, right? I, we've heard about this out in China, <clears throat> but because of the way that they've been handling COVID by doing a severe lockdown, zero tolerance out there. A lot of ships stuck at port out there. And as we all know, the globe is largely dependent on these Chinese imports. I'm getting like a duality where I don't know if you're getting all the information or they're, they're holding back some information or there's, I just heard a distortion of the information. Uh, it, it's like, yeah, well, things are stuck, but don't worry about it. It's okay at the foundation. Whoa, that is a sign of Scorpio with a butterfly, right? And this is saying sudden change, right? That's catharsis, going from the caterpillar to the butterfly. Frivolous spending, short-term loan, uh, movement, temporary jobs, fun work might be relevant in some way. I am getting intuitively off of this that obviously this is a time of shift with this eclipse season, but most definitely this week. Things are going to shift Things are going to move forward. I just heard fleeting. Okay. And I don't know if any of you watch Leo King, but he just put out a recent video. Might link it down below or tag it at the very end. Um, so you can click on through to it. But he get, he gave a, a bit of a warning, you know, about... I'm feel, feeling to go to this stuff. He gave a bit of a warning about... <clears throat> The energy right now is super optimistic, okay? Doesn't this look so optimistic? Solar eclipse, so positive, new beginnings coming in, right? Taurus, grounded butterfly, things are moving and growing and thriving, right? Looks so beautiful, but he warned that it's not always going to be this way, okay? Yes, this eclipse energy is impacting us and unfolding over the next six months. See where it's transiting your chart if you're unsure. You know, come to me, I've got a... Uh, eclipse season special reading if you're interested I will tag that at the very end but nevertheless yeah so I, honestly the movement I'm getting here with this chariot in reverse is like um, it's not controlled it's like almost out of control and it's very ego driven and people are looking out for themselves what about me what about me hence this going back to what about my money because this is fleeting. This is in limbo. And some of you are maybe watching people in authority, people in these uh, finance, in the financial system, in the banking industry, looking at them being frivolous. Oh, yeah, let's do a free giveaway for people, you know, in this other country that we're not elected to be representing. And let's give that let's give our constituents money over to those people. And oh, there's people coming in uh, illegally. Well, let's give them freebies. Let's give them more freebies. And, you know, because who cares that we're having an epidemic of homelessness out in our streets in our major cities? Oh, who cares about that? Let's let's right. This is out of control nonsense. And I don't know that you're getting the truth over here. Is there anything else? Anything else we need to know about this week? Oh dear. Yeah, I'm I'm getting more. Oh dear. Okay. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, this is, you know, legacy, but in the revert and money, this is generational wealth. Things have been very upside down. Maybe again, you're getting fighting with groups about how money 
is spent. Not a fan of it, to be honest with you. Uh, it looks like things are changing, though, and someone is trying to restore some balance and fairness here. Both of these cards have a lot to do with uh, balancing income with expenses. This looks actually like a positive, and it might be the legal system coming in, uh, the legislature coming in and saying, <laughs> no, you are not getting a blank check to send off to foreigners in a foreign land when we have citizens in our own country that are suffering out in the streets, um, you know, with a name of chalices at the foundation. This indicates some messages coming in like, gee, sorry, um, but yeah, we're not doing that. So that's positive. It looks like some people might be stepping up and doing the right thing concerning the people they are elected to represent rather than people they are not elected to represent, if you know what I mean. I'm also seeing with this name of Chalices, we might be getting some health reports coming out this week, uh, messages about uh, what's going on with health matters, okay? Uh, Convid, <laughs> uh, baby formula, what else? Clot shots, oh yes, there have been Pfizer data dumps going on, but pay attention, right? We're supposed to focus on Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. We're, we need to focus on Will Smith and, you know, Jada and all those Hollywood people who are, by the way, indisputably actors and actresses. <laughs> oh, pay no attention to the Pfizer data dump. <laughs> But I do see there could be some uh, very sensitive communications coming out. And it might be something real like, oh, by the way, here's this data dump over here. Don't pay attention. But yeah, it's there. It's there at the foundation. And I think the sensitivity around this is something is not getting forward movement. Because somebody was out of control, ego-driven with this chariot in reverse. Uh, this might have been something where... Somebody was very arrogant. I'm hearing intellectual arrogance. I'm getting greed next to this Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And I'm also getting that there's some kind of disruption or delay, again, maybe having to do with supply chain issues. This is very far reaching. With the Pentacles, definitely, you know, given the other cards, this might definitely have to do with Big Agra. I, I just heard the pharmaceutical company as well. So, yeah, and then that's just, I'm not seeing that in the cards, these cards exactly. Well, any of the cards, except maybe this, but I, I heard it intuitively, so I'm, I'm just going to honor it. Somebody was maybe very far-sighted, they, or, or they just, they didn't see an issue that was right in front of their face that they needed to, and that's why things have not, oh, well, let me say also, I'm getting with this energy that the retrogrades we are coming into might also be playing a role, so just be aware, be cautious that it's a collective energy. We're all under the influence of this increasing retrogrades where, you know, you might want to take off pretty, pretty ballsy, you know, type of movement forward. But because of the retrogrades, I don't think it's going to move quite at the speed or pace that, that people want. And again, it might be because somebody got a little too ambitious here with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And that, that's ruining relationships. I do also want to caution you about foreclosures I'm seeing with both of these cards. Poor, poverty, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Look at what's going on with the real estate market. I just heard something slowing down. I just heard slump. I don't know where that, that's an intuitive thing that I am going with. But I'm also hearing with this wheel that actually this is going to improve things like it this is i just heard a correction okay something was getting too out of control somebody something needs to get reeled back in and that's why actually although some people don't want to see that or experience that it's for the best because it's going to help i'm hearing balance out finances look at all the stuff following where things are going to improve materially i'm seeing all around this and it does have to do with some type of cycle, maybe a karmic cycle. I'm also hearing a financial cycle. Some of you who are into economics will know what I'm talking about, that there are financial cycles. But this is definitely bringing a turning point. Probably those most uh, impacted by this will be the fixed signs. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. And I do feel like this is probably over the next six months and i'm seeing anywhere from cancer season to libra season which would be mid-june to mid-october 
notice this is a lot of major arcana here i'm just now seeing with the chariot the wheel of fortune the temperance and the justice it's almost like spirit is stepping in and i think this is very faded energy again it, i really think it ties strongly into this eclipse probably a lot having to do with actually the solar eclipse i'm being brought back to that continuously even though this week we're having a lunar eclipse a lot of mirroring back to what happened two weeks ago and with the temperance card i do feel that whatever is changing in the financial system it is some kind of balancing it is some kind of correction with income and expenses and i do feel again there are some politicians trying to get a blank check for things in Congress and I sense that they might not get it because we might actually have some people come in and say uh no we don't have an unlimited budget contrary to what you people think with your money printers and your ability to just create digital debt out of nowhere no you're not going to put us on the hook for more debt more inflation more devaluation of dollars uh the buck stops here and I'm, I'm happy about that actually but again, it could come through some realization of, wait a minute, we can't keep moving forward like this. The buck stops here. Somebody has gotten, somebody needs to get reined in. Okay, something has gotten out of control. I just heard it's a train wreck. It might make people angry because they realize the damage being done with out of control spending. And then other people getting angry because they wanna keep getting a blank check and have other people pay for it indefinitely. I'm hearing enslavement of generations is what I'm hearing. People are tired of having their grandchildren sold out to slavery. So there is some kind of harmonizing or at least finding middle ground balance and trying to um, integrate something, some kind of fairness. But again, with this temperance card, I'm also getting uh, something about cancer season and I'm getting something about the oceans, which came up over here with the anchor. This is something going on with overseas shipments. And finally, with this justice card, I am seeing that there's something about consequences and perhaps it's reaching, like I said, the legal system, the legislation, uh, contracts, courts, uh, jurisdictions, okay? And there's some kind of formal negotiation saying, listen, we're going to have to reach a fair outcome here. We have to talk this through peacefully amicably diplomatically and it might have to do with international relations again overseas some some of these talks might have to do with sanctions let's see if we can get some financial advice for viewers over yeah i'm feeling this that that well, you know, the dreams of abundance kind of indicates to me, you know, this kind of almost, you know, I'm sorry, it sounds like a nice little, doesn't that sound sweet? And it looks so sweet, doesn't it? <laughs> I, I don't get a good vibe off of that. I, I'm getting an airy fairy, come back down to earth, keep it grounded. Like, yeah, that's sweet that you, you know, want to make believe, okay? But back in 3D land, <laughs> not 5D, um, you know, you... Um, you need to get grounded, like realize what is it realistically going to take to manifest your dreams in reality. This is what I'm getting intuitively. The card says, as you sleep, God, your angels and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your dreams into reality. So I do definitely think there's a value right to these divine downloads. Don't be dismissive of them, you know, write them down pray meditate over them okay but again i'm getting more on an intuitive level that you got to get real right what's the truth about how to manifest i just heard self-banking self-banking okay sweet jesus that's underneath it too fourth house self-banking to ensure your stability with your home your family your food your groceries all of this good stuff okay What's going on out there is reflecting some truth back down to square one, which is you. It begins with you, okay? But I'm also seeing with these two cards, like we got to do more than talk the problem with the no complaining, no more complaining. We got to get beyond talking the problem. We got to start talking the solution, okay? This card says complaints are affirmations of victimhood, which is never true spiritually. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom with your increased confidence and assertiveness 
watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality. Well, for some reason, the word power really leaped off the card for me on that one. That really resonated. And I think that's because with this solar eclipse in Scorpio, power is a big issue, right? Power is a big theme in, with Scorpio. So this is about, right, we can complain about what's being done with fiat currency, uh, central banking, inflation, money printers, devaluation. I mean, I can just go on and on and on how the system is being used and abused and rigged to profit some people while the poor keep getting poor, okay? But rather than do that, how can you step into your power and say, you know what? I'm going to self-bank. I'm going to invest in crypto. And I'm going to hold my own money on a hard wallet, right? I'm going to take control back. And finally, the attracting, not tra chasing. Anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way because of the fears underlying chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and welcoming energy. For some reason, this card is bringing up within me that saying that it's better to light a candle than to curse the darkness, okay? Basically, again, it's kind of more of this, stop talking the problem, start talking the solution, but it's also that the power that we have here is rather than going out and protesting and rioting and petitioning, which is really the cries of the powerless, you light a candle. And how do you light that candle? You decide that I am going to step more into this energy of self-sufficiency. I'm going to find my feet. I'm going to stop begging for big daddy government to come and give me a, you know, hot chicken dinner and, and tuck me in at night and make me feel good about things that maybe I shouldn't. I'm going to stop depending on other people and complaining whenever they fail me. And I'm going to just say, you know what, I'm not going to talk to you about this anymore. I'm not going to beg you to have ethical, an ethical financial system here or banking system. I'm not going to naively in a childlike way depend on you to fix this for me or believe your lies, your continued lies. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my power back and it's not even up for discussion. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to take my dollars and I'm going to start self banking and I'm going to start um, right. Rather than moaning about this supply chain stuff and bad and big ag stuff, I'm going to start growing my own vegetables like my grandparents did. Right. Or co-oping with people in my community and stop this overseas dependency globalism. I'm going to start going local and I don't need to protest or petition anybody to do it. I take my power back. All right. Thanks for watching to the very end. And so those of you who like this content and want to see more of it, obviously liking, sharing, subscribing is going to help me reach more people and keep going. It lets me know to keep going on this platform. But of course, if you want to know more, you can find me on Twitter, Gab, Getter, Rumble. I am most active on Twitter for uh, political content. And this is like if you want to engage with me on sharing real time news and, you know, talking about what's going on real time, trending events, whatnot. I'm at Warrior Woman 212, my other alter ego. <laughs> you can find me there. And of course, links are down below. Those of you who like more of my political uh, astrology, spiritual content, you can find it at The Crowned Life on Odyssey and BitChute. And this is where I put like my monthly astrology where we look at the astrology through the lens of the economy, politics, relationships. This is my censored content that I can't put up here because it's just too damn real for this platform. And for those of you who, you know, want more of my other readings, uh, relationship readings, I am doing live tarot readings on YouTube every full moon and new moon. Make sure that you are subscribed and hit the bell for notifications so that you're notified of when I'm going to be going live again. And usually I will ask for requested signs because I only read the requested signs. And finally, those of you who are really going to want to dive deep, okay, because I could go really way deeper. Um, I do private readings, links down below. Uh, really deep stuff where we could, you know, we can look at immediate questions. We can look at over the next year, um, not just tarot, but also astrology. And I even do life mastery readings where we go into really deep stuff that helps you get a better handle on life if that is what you're interested in. So thanks for watching and looking forward to connecting with y'all again. Be blessed.